Hi, today I have a 2004 6.0 Power Stroke F250, and it's gave it, I have a good opportunity to show a few things that I try to stress and put an emphasis on when people ask me questions. Because sometimes everything can look right, but yet some it can be overlooked. What I'm getting at is the ICP and the IPR correlation. These engines, they take 500 PSI of injection pressure just to idle and going down the road you can see 3000 PSI. The So what's important is the IPR percentage or the injection pressure regulator percentage how hard it's working or how much it's shutting down to achieve it. The best way to describe this is first thing is key on engine off is the only way that we can verify an ICP input. So key on engine off, we want to see atmospheric pressure or less, so pretty much 15 PSI or less. The only exception is on 2003, early 04s, if people use the updated ICP sensor or a sensor for an 04 and up style, I've seen them read 50, 60 PSI key on engine off. And that, that's normal from having the updated sensor in uh, 2003, early 04, that should have had the older one. Um, all this is important because I keep getting calls, people asking me, and um, this is one that's, that's sometimes overlooked. So anyhow, you, again, 500 PSI just to idle and going down the road as high as 3,000 PSI of um, injection pressure. What's important is, or the way I look at it, is that pump's always creating the 3,000 PSI of pressure and it's dumping off what it doesn't need. So at idle, you'll see it normally IPR percentage at uh, cold, let's say 25 to 30%, and warm, more like 22 to 24% is normal, but that's going to vary on fuel type, temperature, injectors sticking, how well everything's working, but that's average. So what we, again, so now we, what we wanna see, IPR percentage roughly 30 or under at an idle, going down the road, never hit 85, maybe hit the low 80s, hopefully only the high 70s, like 79, 82% um, going down the road. Because your IPR works from 15, which is dumping the excess pressure, to 85, which is completely blocking it. So now all the pump pressure is directed straight into the fuel rails, trying to achieve the maximum pressure. We never want to see it hit 15, or 85% while cranking or running. Key on engine off, it will fail at 14.84 or 15%. Um, just key on engine off. This truck right here most likely has a bad pump. If the customer lets me tear it down, um, I can, I'm going to try to verify that. The reason being, 03, 04s are usually a pump as long as nobody's worked on it. I have to stress that as long as nobody has worked on it and contaminated the system or has a leak, it's usually a pump. If somebody's worked on it, it could be anything. Contamination, the IPR screen, uh, an injector leaking or something else going on. If it's an 05 and up, it's almost never a pump. It can be, but it's very rare. I've done two pumps in all the years of working on these and that's all I do all day long is work on them. So again, I want to, what I want to show you on this one, because what we are going to see is that this one will hit the 500 PSI and start, but the IPR gets to 85% to hit it. So the pump's max, it's working at the max just to get it, and all it can do is idle, so it has no throttle response. The customer's concern is a lack of power um, on this truck, because the IPR, or the pump's already working as hard as it can, and all it can do to the engine is idle. So again, IPR percentage is very important in what we should watch. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this one up. Watch it with the scan gauge. I have the, uh, the Fick and Power IPR sync and ICP. I'm cranking it here, trying to get it to start. Okay, now it's starting and it ran, 
But if you see that, it's got the IPR is already at 85% just to get it to idle. So now we, it's not going to have any response. It's not going to move because it's the pump is using all of the pressure just to reach the idle. So we're, we're not this truck's not going to run right. But yet if you look at it, you know people would say, oh, I have everything. I've got good Ficum Sync. I've got good ICP, all that. But it's important to know how hard is the IPR working to get there? So here I'll show you the throttle response on this. See, I'm pushing it down and nothing's happening. Just because it's there's there's no pressure left to go ahead and drive the injectors. So this one's a good opportunity for me to show you the importance of IPR. If they authorize it, I'll tear it down because we usually find a ball bearing out of the pump. It's not really a ball bearing, it's a stopper, I should call it. So hopefully they'll let us tear this one down and I'll show you exactly what it is, if that's what it is. But I'm going, going to quiz them and make sure no work was done on it. Because remember, it, it can be something else. I'm just trying to tell you what I normally find and what I suspect. So let's see if I can get authorization on this one.